Hey, it's Cody. Today I'm changing my altar. Um, I woke up this morning to fog. There was rain yesterday. I feel like it's really finally an acceptable time for me to change my altar from its late summer form into its beginning of fall or autumn form. So this video is just going to be um, me changing out my stuff. I <laughs> Kind of an altar tour. I don't know. And it, sometimes just sitting there talking about cards isn't that fun. So I'm going to watch this then do if not like Eh, I don't really give a shit. So, the first thing I have to do is take all of my shit off of here. Um, okay. Over here, we have a huge mess of, of tarot decks just, like, sitting over here. I'm ignoring that for right now. Up here are decks that I, like, am currently using a bunch. I'm also probably not gonna fuck with those right now. What I am fucking with is all the crap on the table and, uh, new altar cloth. I gotta decide which one that I'm into right then. Um, so I guess the first thing I gotta do is pick up my shit. This, um, it's a Shadow Moon Child Tarot. Uh, I kind of feel like the more I work with it, um, the harder time I'm having, um, dealing with the differences between, like, the older artwork that hasn't been changed from, like, the regular Moon Child and the beauty of the new ones, like, the old one, the older artwork cards just don't match up to the way the new ones are. Honestly, I think this should have been enti an entirely new deck. Um, but, you know, I, I did not get to make that decision, so. Alright, Seashell, we'll be going back. Alright, right here I have, like, my little Aphrodite area. Oh, I'm standing in the way of it. Um, so here I have the Love Oracle of Eden deck um that i have done a flip through of and just I, it's it's really glossy but it is so beautiful um i have been using this since the day that i got it and i don't actually remember when exactly that was but i always keep this deck out my little aphrodite area i got this at like a local shop a lot kate's magic rose medicine oil mm, i just wanted like a rose oil to like anoint myself before doing my Aphrodite card of the day. Um, actually, I don't think I even like this one that much, but it's what I fucking have. I'm gonna use it. This is my card that I drew today. It is no... Okay, this heart card is... It's glossy, and it's being ridiculous. This card is so, so beautiful. Present. So whenever I draw this card, I get this card a lot. Um, actually draw it, or um, a lot of times it'll be on the bottom of the deck, no matter how much shuffling I do. And I, I take this as a sign of like Aphrodite's literal presence. Um, also, I got these little thingies uh, at thrift stores, but I'm pretty sure you can get them like Michael's or something in like the, the picture department that just really, I don't even know what exactly it's supposed to hold up, but for me, they hold up cards. I have a black one and uh, a brown one. This has been... Um, this is, I, I would like for this to go back on my altar. I don't know if it's going to. It's like a little candelabra thingy. Um, oh, it's dusty. Good thing I have my handy dandy dusting brush for this. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is a brush that I got from like, it was one of those like packs of brushes for painting that you could get from like, I don't know, Home Depot, like hardware kind of stores. And it, it's kind of firm and I've never painted with this one and I, uh, I brushed dust off of shit with it, okay? Um, my fake mine. Okay, um, my altar, the room that I'm in, I call a sunroom. I don't even know really, like, what the actual definition of a sunroom is. Maybe this isn't one. But it is literally, there's, every wall in this room is basically windows, um, from, like, a couple feet up. And in the summer, it gets so hot here that if I put, like, the tall kind of candles that go in this, um they melt and like bend over it gets that hot in this room so i would really like to be able to put candles in this but i can't so instead i just put my little fake vine on it and call that shit good okay aphrodite shits off of here incense holder dollar general fake plant um so I got these fake flowers. They were originally part of like the little Aphrodite space. Um, I would like them to be again. I feel like the green. Please come back out. Let's not do this. Okay. Uh, the green is really 
um, not the thing for this season. So I was thinking I would just shove it in very similar thing that I have that is like kind of a golden yellow instead. If I could get it in there. I should have done this first so that you don't have to watch me struggle right now. This one must be a little bit smaller. I'll deal with that later. Whoops. <sighs> My husband made this for me. It's, um, I think it actually used to be like a railroad spike. Um, and it no longer is. These are my little um, moss agate mushrooms. A tiny, tiny one. It's just a, I don't know. I have a thing for moss agate. And I always drop all my fucking mushrooms. I always have some moss agate on my altar someplace. Here's the brown little thing that I use for a card holder. This is a little model. Um, it's like a dollhouse. Um, spinning wheel and it actually spins and that's fucking cute um, it's kind of fucked up but it came broken so this like slides off the back it was really supposed to have like another piece that comes all the way up but eh, you know it's just sitting there so it's fine I keep that on there for reasons I have this um, she's gonna be going bye bye for this a cat spilled water that I had on my altar at one point and it like rusted in well not rust i guess it did the pattern of this little knife this is also very dusty okay this is actually a shelf it's supposed to like go on a wall like that but i use it like that because i don't give a shit get the dusting brush here it comes And it's probably as close to new as it's going to get. I mean, I could sand this and, like, re-stain it, but, like, really, I'm just going to put that back there and... Pine cone? I don't know if that's going to go back. Moonstone pendant. This, uh... Cool-ass tray that I got from the Renaissance Festival will definitely be going back. Um... Pink candle. I'm not doing pink candles anymore for this season. Okay, I also have this thing. I actually don't know, like, what it was supposed to be. It's actually one, like, solid thing. It's like a little corner roundy shelf thing. It's actually solid as fuck and pretty heavy. Sorry, I gotta put this over here. <sighs> okay. This is actually, like, a a dining tablecloth. It's just was the color that I wanted. So I, got it. I just it's folded like six times to just fit on this weird ass little table that I have. But you know that's probably fine. Okay. Alright, so I I got two altar cloth um options. Yeah I just smelled it. Um it was, it's in a drawer that has incense also stored in it, and I keep hoping that this will, like, absorb the incense smell, but it doesn't. Like, it just refuses. I feel actually looking at this now, like, it might be a bit much for September. Like, maybe this is more of, like, an October, November thing. It's got, like, pumpkins and squash and shit. It's also enormous. Like, this is also, like, a dining room table thing. Um, the shape of my altar makes altar cloths, eh, kind of easy for me because I like to go to thrift stores. I'll go with this one. Um, and buy scarves, like, it, not like warm scarves, but you know, like just those decorative ones, they always get like these huge bunches of, so I'm just going to put, come on, this up here, this is a scarf, I don't exactly know how a person's even supposed to wear it, but it works perfect on this. Yeah, that's September, right? Well, that is not centered. Like, not even close. Alright. Now, the, the worst part of this is the fact that I have to put this back on here without, like, well, we'll dust it. This up here is, like, my little mini area that I have for, uh, the deck and walk that I'm doing, um, with Marlon and Teresa here on YouTube. 
Um, I am like a day or two behind on this because the, the decans change every 10 days. Um, I think this one actually ended yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I'm behind on it. Get these off of here. This. I do have to use my dusting brush for the top of this. This, this is just where I keep the deck that I use it. Okay, in defense of the dusting brush, it does a very good job. If I get it in the thing, you could see. And getting the dust out, like, my house is so dusty. Um... Literally, I, I will do this, and this evening I'll be able to do that and, and get dust again. I think it's actually dirt, which is terrible, but I live in, like, a really deserty area. There's barely any rain or anything, so it's just loose dirt. Like, it's not sand, but it's, like, a light-colored, I don't know, like, dusty kind of dirt that I don't like at all. A second a, a little aside about this this deck that I have in here okay so for the Deccan walks um, talk about hermetic titles for the cards um, but I think there have been a couple where the hermetic titles haven't been mentioned and that's something that I have been writing down like in the journal that I'm using for this um, so I only have one deck with the hermetic titles and this deck was sent to me for review um, and I actually don't remember her previous uh, Instagram name. She was an artist. She did this deck. This is, I think it's called the Rhoda Tarot. And it's got our hermetic titles down here at the bottom. And it's it's a deck that I've actually used quite a bit. I've carried in my purse before because it's kind of small. It's pretty easy to read with. Um, and then the other day, well, it was a couple weeks ago, I saw this, this lady and like her kid and I know I know that it's her like I recognize her because she and I talked quite a bit and I haven't seen her posting anything for a while she's changed the name of her page she suddenly become like super Christian and like I went and looked at her page I'm like what the fuck she's like renounced all of her occult artwork and posted all this Christ is King stuff which is batshit and I like I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of torn between like do I want to keep using this deck like I does it have that energy on it? Or is it funnier for me to keep using this and thinking of her every time I do? <laughs> That's awful, I know. But, I mean, it's not like bitch isn't in the title of this. So, yeah, I'm going to keep using it because it's got my t the hermetic titles. So. All right, put all the scraps back up here. This is actually, like, a little holder for if you have, like, a, a crystal slab or something. But you know what? I don't give a shit what things are for. I just use things. Put up my outdated cards. Oops, I think that one goes here. For fuck's sake. Okay. Now that's over. This is my crystal that I always keep with my Terror of the Vampires. I actually don't remember what it's called, but it kind of looked like it's like black with little round kind of red things and it kind of reminded me of the card backs for this deck because it's black with the red rose so I always keep that with it. Now is the real thing that I hate because I have to go through all of this shit and dust it. This thing is really cute. It was handmade by somebody but like this candle is glued in there. Why would you do that? Like I wish that it wasn't that way wish it would come out <laughs> so that like I can't burn it obviously because if I burn this one down then there's not gonna be I, I can't replace it it'll just be like an empty little metal thingy so we'll put that back okay this is my what's the dusting brush let's go do um this is a little brass bell I use this kind of for fay work I've mentioned before or why do I keep doing that that I have a a spirit that has like antlers and stuff that it has actually sort of been with me for like my whole life like in childhood I would have dreams about this thing um it makes sense once I got older kind of and I was like uh, you know antlered humans were like a mythologically thing for a very long time so I don't I don't even know I don't think it's like Cardunos or Hearn the Hunter or any of those things like it feels smaller and I'm kind of suspecting it's some sort of fairy but also like some sort of guide so I this little bottom area is a little thing that I just always keep for him. Antler shed. 
Why do I keep wanting to put that? I got both of these little things from Dollar General. They look horrible if you look at them close, but you just don't look at them close and it's fine. This came from, oh my God, what deck was this with? I mean, I put it in the frame. This was a little print. Amy, I'll put a link to her shop um, down in the description box of this video. Um, I got a deck that I think is actually sold out now. The Lantern's Guide deck or something like that. But it's, it, she said this with me and I felt like this was so luxurious. I also, uh, deer or something that I work with a lot and also crows. So then this just happened to be the way that it was. Absolutely perfect. Um, this guy, it, this guy's a handmade, he's like one of a kind kind of thing. I don't really know exactly. Look how, I don't know if you can see like the dust coming off this guy. Um, I will also put a link to the shop that I got this from. I don't know if um, this person is making things like this anymore. I know she does a lot of pottery stuff and I do know that she still has her shop open. I don't know if she has anything even similar to this anymore. I will warn you of that. But I, I have been wanting like some sort of physical representation uh, for my little dear spirit guide uh, for years. I, I'm content to wait for a long time for like what I feel like is the right thing to show up. Um, so when I saw this guy on uh, Etsy, I was like, I, I think that's him. I have a hard time because a lot of them depictions of like men with antlers tend to be like vicious or something. And that's just not an energy that I get from this being. Like it's a pretty masculine energy, but it's not like aggressive, if that makes sense. That, that's a whole video for another time, a whole other UPG, fucking unverified personal knows this kind of shit. Alright, so I do want to change this up a little bit. Here comes one of my Dollar General plants. We'll just put that, like, actually, let's put this first. I don't know what I thought was going to happen if I did that. <laughs> I do want that in this, though. The bell. Um, what did I do? Oh, picture. Is that look good? I don't know. I mean, it's less dusty. I took off some of those horrendous dollar store plants. Sometimes when I'm putting this in here at the shelf, there's like such a tiny space right here that I like hit it on the shelf. I hit the damn altar clock and like knock it askew and it, I, I can have a whole fucking time with this. That, that was a good one. All right. So we'll put this my little shelf back. It always goes way at the edge so that I have like the space for readings and shit. And this requires dusting. Uh, this pretty much always goes here in the middle because this is where I put daily draws or cards that I'm working with for spell work and stuff. There's really not a reason for me to, you know, not have that. I'm trying to decide what I should do for the Aphrodite area over here. Because this, I like it, but it takes up a lot of space. Do I want that on here? I'll just try it and make you watch. And <laughs> Vote in the comments if you hate it. Oh no. Um, shit. I forgot about these flowers that I couldn't get in the thing. And what I'm actually wanting oh, is I wanted to use this. So maybe this will have to go someplace else. Because I don't think the flowers and the vine thing are going to work out. I want to squish the flowers. But like, fuck. Do you want to know the funniest thing is I got... Looks cute, right? Um, I got these at like a thrift store, and the original tag was still on these, and it was from Hobby Lobby, and they were twenty one ninety nine. I got them for like three dollars, but even the lady at the checkout was like, "Why the fuck were these twenty dollars to begin with?" Uh, bitch, I don't know. Do I look like someone that priced this. 
the stress, the drama. This is why we're here. Because I don't know. <laughs> For my little Aphrodite party. <sighs> okay. You know what? Maybe this. I mean, I know what that looks like. We'll take this guy out of here. I'll spill some blood. Fuck it. Do I want this like that? Is that okay for right now? What do you think? The octopus one. Yeah, I'll do this for right now. Put this little. This is just one of those little small candle holder things. That mine got all burned inside. I could probably like sand that out of there, but ultimately I'm sanding away the salt that it's made of. So like, why would I do that? Here's another bell because I like to summon shit with bells. So put that on there. This is a little bit crooked. I'm not that worried about it. Um, this is one of those like little cone incense holder things. Um, the problem with it is some, I don't know how it happens, but it gets a bunch of like the powder outside of it, which doesn't really make sense, but that's a thing that it does. So we will put that right there. Um, so I got out two things, this thing, I don't even know what it is. It was handmade by somebody, probably a child maybe get it it's got this little leather strap which is kind of cool i like how this looks but i think it was going to be sort of my chalice representation which is not really a thing i get crazy about obviously on my altar there are people that are like oh i need this in the west corner this in the east eh, i don't i don't do that i'm not wicked i'm not any like thing that is making me do any of this stuff the only thing making me do stuff is myself anyway i think i'm gonna just use this i also have one of these that has like um it's really cute. It's it's uh, taller. It's a little bit smaller around. It has a pentacle on it. It has a little lid. Reality is, for some reason, this is the first one that I got, and I just still keep using this one. We'll put that right there, man. Maybe that's not going to work. Maybe it has to go there. This might not work going on. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Um, it might work better not being on this thing. I don't know. Oh. I got this thing. I will also put a link to the shop from which I got this. Um, I saw somebody, I saw a couple people that had these. And what these do is it's just a little thing like this. And you can, I don't know if I've shown this on the channel before. Um, and you can adjust this thing right here to raise or lower this and this is just for like loose incense or resin incense and then you just put your little tea light in there and put it to whatever height and you light it and it actually works really well um instead of having to do the whole charcoal disc thing because I fucking hate charcoal discs and they also last way longer than I am ever interested in like having my incense be something I have to keep working toward like I this one here um yeah this is probably gonna have to go over there because i have to have this guy where's my little um night pro i'm losing my stuff oh. it has like one side that's like cleaner but i like the side with like whatever is going on right here Put that on there. I hope you can see this well enough. I don't know, man. Does it look like September? Does it feel like September? Is it September in here? This is my favorite um, incense holder. I literally got this. I I was a teenager. I mean, I might have been like a tween. Okay, I might have been like 11 or 12 when I got this. I'm going to keep that. Although I guess I could do a black one. Should I do a black one? Yeah, I'll do that one. Um, I'll put the mushrooms on here because I like them. Yeah. Okay, so what do I have left here? Gosh. So I have this little um dish. I'll show you. I don't know. It needs to be cleaned out a little bit. But once again, it's is a deer.
This is kind of rubbed off. I think it probably said Korea. So I'm just going to put um, these in here. Okay, so you might have no... Uh, okay, I, I think I showed my altar once before, maybe. I don't remember. Um, but I've talked a lot about the Weaver's Oracle and how I draw one card from that deck each new moon. Um, and right now, until the next new moon, uh, my card is Horse, and it's like, oh shit, I forgot the other title of it. But the point is, it's talking about Amber Medicine, that this this crone is like wandering and she had something about Amber. So this is a big ass chunk of Amber that I have. Just gonna put that in there. I really like Honey Calcite, and sometimes I have it out other times of the year, but especially this time of year I have to have it out. Um, also, I'm kind of having a thing with Garnets right now, so... That can go in there too. It's occurred to me that my plan was for this to go where that is right now. Hmm. You know what? Maybe this. We'll just put this over here. Just fuck it. This guy here. Um. Oh. Put my deck. I'll put a link to this level or Oracle of Eden. I'm gonna have a lot of fucking links, okay? A lot of links in my um, description box here today. Go shell. Put this oil that I'm not that fond of, but it works. Is this feeling too like late in fall because like there's still green foliage around me does that make sense like is this feeling too i don't know i feel like i need those vines to still be green around here no I, oh my god i need help someone assist me I'm a child trying to do an altar i don't i don't know what to do um i also have these rusty ass spikes i don't what are they smaller coffin nails are smaller than this right these aren't surely these aren't coffin nails i don't know i use these for um protection i'm i'm really bad about like protecting my stuff from like oh my god a hummingbird is right outside my window um from like spirits sort of like i normally just shit just like it's fine for it to come in here and I feel sort of around this time of year, I always get this weird little thing, like, maybe I should be more worried about that. Um, so this is as good as it gets, man. People are like, this bitch has bad defenses. I'm cursing her right now. What an annoying bitch. Okay. You know what? I realize, like, everything on here is very orange, and it's kind of hard to see. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm sorry. Being out of screen all the time is kind of annoying, but I am going to put my black, fucking plain black incense holder. I feel like that would, there, is it spiced up? Did it work? <laughs> oh. This I'm going to put on here because I kind of go through seasons working um, with a pendulum. And so, this was actually my first ever pendulum that I bought. It's a, a light, smoky quartz. And this, I, I have quite a few pendulums. This ultimately is my favorite one. Like, it just, it always is. I have this little leather bag that I bought for it when I got it. Um, yeah. So I think I want to keep this out, too. I'll just put this... Right there. Also, um, I took off that one candle. I have this one that's like on fire right now. I don't know. It's orange. That on there. I don't know if I'm happy with it. Um. Oh, another thing that I want to do. Okay, I have too much shit that needs to go on this, I think. This is my uh, black scrying mirror. First thing is that this is just... Um, wow, that's really all my shit over there there's you um this is just one of those um things where i fucking spray painted the back of the glass in a picture frame black um i'm i'm not that like serious about mirror scrying so much um but i do keep this uh occasionally i do try to use it 
it's more that this is kind of a time of self-reflection to me. So I have to put this someplace on my altar. Um, that's that when I come up to my altar, it's reflecting myself. Um, just because like, I want to be mindful for some reason around this time of year, around, you know, the fall, um, I want to be mindful of how I'm approaching my altar. Um, so I just keep this, you know, like, bitch, what do you bring in here? Um, this is, you're gonna, <laughs> you guys are learning so much bullshit about my magic. That's like, <laughs> Does this shit make it stronger? Does it make it weaker? Is it shit? Like, yeah, no, I didn't buy this. I just fucking spray painted some shit. This is my mirror, like, protection thing, okay? It's literally fucking, what is that? Some sort of twine or something, some brown fabric. This is, like, a copper washer. Um, I put wooden beads. I think I put 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Yep. And then a little, um, black tourmaline bead at the bottom. So literally what I do with this is on the back of this, since it is a picture frame, I just hang it on this little thing right there and kind of clamp it down. This I leave on here unless I'm specifically using it for scrying, just because I, I'm not weird about mirrors in general, but this specifically, some of the, like, the works that I've done with it and stuff, I feel like I don't want anything coming through this. Um... So I do keep that on there. I feel like that protects me from, you know, whatever bullshit's coming through. I'll have an idea. What if I took all of this stuff off again? Would this just like... Okay, maybe not. Sit like that. And I'll just put this shit in front of it. That might work working better than I thought. I just, I realize I'm just doing shit and I don't even know if you can see half of what I'm doing, but it is what it is, I guess. I'm not like redoing this video. All right, there. So now we've got that on there. Do I need that pine cone? Does pine cone need to be on there? Yeah, I think it does. I think <laughs> I'll put it right there. So my finishing touch, this, I, if, if you've been following me on Instagram for any length of time, I probably have mentioned this uh, on the YouTube channel because I talk about this all the time. This is my favorite crystal that has ever existed. This, it's just a smoky quartz, like, the bottom of it does not look that good. I mean, it's really nothing special, but for some reason this is my favorite crystal. This specific one. Like, I love all smoky quartz, okay, but... It's something about this one specifically. So, there. Oh, also, alright, I can't leave my deck tap or dighty just sitting here. So I have this little, <laughs> this is like my jewelry tap or dighty. Because, like, why not? I mean, what else would you do for Aphrodite? So, me, fuck's sake. If you ever thought that I'm like someone that has their shit together or is like ready for life on a regular basis, no. These are some like, I don't necessarily want to say prayer beads, but I did make these. A lot of my like devotional kind of work with spirits is making things like to kind of represent them. Um, so this is just like the pink on this is not rose quartz. Rose quartz is kind of too of a blue, too bluish of a pink for like... I felt like to look good with a garnet bead. So these are actually uh, strawberry quartz. Um, I don't I don't know if they're dyed or what, but you know, fuck it. I'll just put that. What the hell did I just do? We'll put this on top of that. There. That's fancy, right? So I realized this video is well over half an hour. And this is just like my back being on the pocket altar. I'm gonna post it anyway because fuck it. All right, so my last step is always I light an incense. Um, this is the Hermitage scent from Sea Witch Botanicals. Um, I got this at a local metaphysical shop and I love it so much. Like this, it brings back a very specific memory for me. Do you ever have memories that your brain shows you all the time but actually really nothing happened? Um, 
I think it was a wedding between my uncle and his second wife. Um, and her family is Vietnamese. They're from Vietnam and stuff. So I was playing with these kids that did not speak English. I don't speak Vietnamese. And it was just, it was really funny. I think I was probably three or four because I remember the house that we lived in was like one from way back. And this memory is so useless. I remember crouching in the grass with some of these kids and they were all talking to each other and I didn't know what they were saying. So I'm just sitting there. And something about like the grass smelled exactly like this. It's such a weird memory. It's such a useless memory. But, and it, I, it was just buried in there as just useless fucking information. I don't know why my brain kept it, but this brought it back out. And for some reason, I always remember that. So, <laughs> super weird. I love this one. As soon as I am, as soon as these are out, which I kind of use these sparingly, um, because I don't want to just use them all, like, I don't know, that like, I, when I have nice things, I don't want them to all get used. For nothing. Are you gonna light or what? <laughs> so I'll stick this bitch in here. I'll probably tweak this so I don't want anyone like seeing the altar behind me in a video and being like that's not what you did. You changed something. So I pretty much only as as a season approaches is the only time that I would do like a whole thing like this. Um, normally I'll just change out a couple things. Like I might be like, actually, I'm not going to use that big bell and put something else there or just small things or I'll switch out crystals or I'll decide I'm actually not going to work with the pendulum and I'll put that away. Like just going to be small things. I also don't know which deck I'm going to be pulling out right now. So that's why that's just sitting there like that. <sighs> So, um, this was a weird video, and I'm sorry if it was annoying, and I'm also sorry that it's long. <laughs> Thanks for sitting with me, uh, while I redid my altar. Bye!